Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to install Docker and Docker Compose on Ubuntu. Now, starting off, the first thing you want to do is issue a Docker double dash version command because if you've already got Docker installed, you don't need to install it. Now, if it tells you how to install Docker, well, that's a good start because that means you don't have Docker installed and you can move on to step two. Now, before you install the Docker engine, you gotta have a couple of prerequisites ready and you gotta set up the Docker repository. Some of those prerequisites is to do a sudo apt get install for software, one of which is curl. So. Do the sudo app get install for curl that should only take a moment once that's done do the same thing for new pg again that should only take a second you also need those certificate authority certificates so add those in as well and then finally make sure you've got that lsb release so do the sudo app get install lsb release and once you're done that, you are ready to move on to the next step in installing Docker and Docker Compose on Ubuntu. We need to get Docker's official GPG key and we're gonna throw it into a directory under etc. So I'm gonna do the sudo mcdir command with a dash p flag and create a new directory in etsy apt keyrings. Make sure I spelled that correctly and boom all of a sudden that folder is created and then we're going to use that curl utility that we just installed and use that to shove the docker gpg file into that folder now it looks like that's all done successfully but i'm from missouri i like to be shown these things so i'm going to dig into that etsy folder go to apt and look in key rings and boom there we go that docker gpg file is right in there which makes me happy uh, now the next we need to do is set up that repository that has all of the docker goodness in it so i'm going to copy this great big long command here that's going to set things up and once i've done that well i have to do the sudo apt get update to have my local installation learn about all of these fantastic files and repository resources that are available to me. Now, once I've done that, well, now I can go ahead and do the heavy lifting in terms of installing Docker. And it's this command, sudo apt get install Docker CE, Docker CE CLI, the command line interface. Container D, containerd.io, and you want Docker Compose. Put the Docker Compose plugin for Ubuntu in there as well. Now I'm going to give that a quick read. sudo app get install Docker CE, Docker CE CLI, containerd.io, and Docker Compose plugin. I don't think there were any fat finger problems there. I'm going to click enter and watch that install. And there we go, everything seems to be installed. Let's do the docker version command, sudo docker version, docker 20.10. Let's see, sudo docker compose version, see what happens here. Docker compose version 2.5 has been installed in Ubuntu. And can we run some docker commands? Let's do a sudo docker run, hello world. Let's see what happens. It pulls the image from Docker Hub. It runs the image. It even gives us a little hello world from Docker and tells us, hey, congratulations. Welcome to the world of Docker on Ubuntu. And we can even do a little pseudo Docker images. And you'll notice that that hello world Docker image is there in our local Docker repository. And we could even do Docker PS-A to see if any containers were created do that with sudo of course and there we go we see that yeah in order to run that hello world image we had to create a container based on it and there's the hello world beautiful black container 
based on that hello world image that was downloaded. And there you go. That's how easy it is to install Docker and Docker Compose on Ubuntu. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com and got lots of great tutorials on Docker, Ubuntu, Engine, X, Java, microservices, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?